Hey guys, we're gonna get started today. We're gonna do our warm up um, before we do our lesson. So we're gonna get started with some running, skipping, hopping, galloping, just some different things to get your body moving a little bit. So if you guys are ready, I'm ready. Make sure you have some space, whether you're indoors, whether you're outdoors, you can be in your grass. If you're not in grass on concrete, make sure you have on tennis shoes um, so that you're nice and safe and there's nothing around you, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and get started and we're gonna do some running around our cones. If you guys are ready, I'm ready. So we're gonna run all the way around, back to the beginning, okay? We're gonna try some running with high knees and some booty kicks too. So we're gonna try some high knees and then we're gonna do some booty kicks. Now we're gonna move on to our chasse, or we call them gallops. So we're gonna put one foot, I'll start with my right foot, arms out nice and straight, and we're gonna gallop. Make sure you hop in the middle. And then I'm gonna actually switch my feet, so I'm gonna do my left foot this time on the way back. So we make sure we do both feet. Okay, now we're gonna do some skipping. So we're gonna make sure our arms are out again, and we're gonna make sure that we lift our knees up really high off the floor. Try and point your toes. So knees up, touch your toe to your knee, all the way around. Okay, now we're gonna walk in releve, or tippy toe, whatever you wanna call it. We're gonna make sure our arms are up nice and tall, fingertips touching, and we're gonna stretch up really tall. Make sure you pull up really tall in your tummy. No bending in your knees. Then you can try it with your arms out to the side. All the way around. Okay, next thing we're gonna do are some penguin walks. So we're gonna either, I think we'll do our hands on our hips this time, and we're gonna walk on our heels, stretch out our lower legs, our calves a little bit. Don't let those toes touch the carpet. Try to keep your legs straight, all the way around, and how about this time we do some bear crawls, and I want you guys to do it with your elbows straight and your legs straight, okay? So we're going to try to walk really tall on your tummy, try to get your hands and your feet flat, okay? And then why don't we try a, try a crab walk, okay? So we're gonna sit down, and I want you to try a crab walk. Don't let that booty touch the ground. All the way to the end. All right guys, now we're gonna do our stretch. And if, I have a pit block, but if you guys have a stuff, like your favorite stuffed animal, something you wanna use, that would be really great, okay? So you can join me doing this. Okay, so we're gonna start, we're gonna sit, we're gonna sit with our legs out straight with no bumps, remember, no bumps. We're gonna start with our pit blocker animal up really tall, and I wanna see you go down, and I wanna see you tap your toes, and then stretch back up, and then tap those knees. Make sure there's no bumps, okay? And then we're gonna do our straddle, okay? So make your legs go apart, no bumps again. Stretch up really tall, and reach over, touch one foot, Stretch up tall, touch the sky, touch the other foot. Stretch up tall, and now reach out, reach out, reach out as far as you can go. And let me see you make some noise and pat your stuffed animal. And then let's make our butterfly. Let's put our block or animal right in between. And we're gonna do our butterfly legs. And now let me see if you can make your nose. Touch your block or your animal. And then come up. And then let's see if we can put it between our knees, make those bumps, squeeze really tight. We did this last week when we did some rolls, so we're gonna do some rock and roll. Squeeze really tight, put your feet back down. One more time. And now let's sit crisscross applesauce. We can just put this down for now, okay? Let's put our hands together and we're gonna make some cookies. I think I'll make some chocolate ones and put a lot of chocolate chips all on top, sprinkles too. Okay, now I wanna see if you guys can do a tabletop. So 
put those feet on the floor, put your hands behind your bottom, and let me see if you can pop up and hold that. And let's see you lift up one foot and the other foot, and see if you can lift up one arm and the other arm, and back down. Hey guys, so the focus of our lesson today is going to be balance beam. Okay, balance beam behind me. You see the balance beam? That's what we normally use in class. But today I'm going to show you what you can do in your home because you probably don't have that in your home. If you do and you have a small one, you might want to go ahead and use it. If not, we're going to do, I'm going to have you draw a line. You can put a line on your tile, on your wood using tape. And at lines and balance beams are usually four inches wide, so parents, you can, you can do that if you'd like. Um, if you wanna go outside and do this and draw a chalk line, that's good too. Make sure you're wearing tennis shoes. If you're on a hard surface, if you're on the carpet, you're fine. But we're just gonna give you some ideas on how you can stay on the balance beam. And I'm gonna start on my green line. And remember, when we're always on the balance beam, we always like to have our wings out really, really pretty, okay? So we're gonna start, make sure you're looking at the end of your line, and we're gonna walk, okay? No bumps. And since you're on the floor, you could try to go in tippy toe. We don't do it a lot, but if we do, we always do it on a low beam. So we're gonna try tippy toes, okay? So we're gonna go up tall, no bumps in your knees. Stay right on that line. Okay. And then you can also, with all these that I'm showing you, which we've done in class, if you have a hula hoop at home, you can try it with a hula hoop. You can hold your hula hoop like a cookie tray, don't let your cookies drop, and you can practice walking, holding on, don't let those cookies drop, or you can practice holding it up really, really tall, keep those elbows nice and straight, and again, walking. Make sure your toes are on the line. try our sideways, our peanut butter jelly. You know I like to call peanut butter jelly. So now I'm facing sideways. Get those feet right on that line. Arms out, wings out, and we're going to walk. Peanut butter jelly. Peanut butter jelly. So side to side. Okay, when I get to this end, I'm going to walk back that way so I use my other leg. So side to side. Peanut butter jelly. Make sure your wings are out. Okay, and again, if you'd like, I'll show you one time. You can hold out your hula hoop again, hold on really, really tight, and you can look right at that hula hoop as you do your peanut butter jelly feet. Okay? All the way to the end. Next thing I want you to try are flamingos. Remember flamingo? That's when we lift up one foot to touch our knee, okay? You make sure your wings are out, and you're gonna step. Flamingo, and then try the other foot. Flamingo, all the way down, okay? I'm gonna quick grab my hula hoop down here, and I'm gonna show you how to do that with the hula hoop, and you can try to make your flamingo knee touch your hula hoop so you know it's up nice and high. Staying on that line, don't fall off the line. Okay, put that down. to try going backwards. So this one's a little tricky. You have to make sure both feet are on your line. You have to step one foot behind the other foot, okay? So make sure it stays right on that line. One foot behind the other. Make sure those wings are out. Okay, all the way down, okay? This one I want you to try which we've done before, I'm gonna have you try toe tap. So if we're standing on the line, we're just gonna tap one foot down, one foot down. If you guys want to get really creative, parents, if you have some paper plates, you could put some paper plates on each side of the line. So when we walk, you tap a paper plate. Sometimes we use cones, but you might not have those. This gives you practice of standing on one foot, okay? try we're gonna try our bear walks we're gonna try them on our knees which we do in class we're up on the big B so you're gonna make sure both those hands are on the line your knees are on the line and we're gonna walk hands and knees make sure one knee is on that line every time you take a step all the way down okay and then 
And then a challenging one or a tricky one, we're gonna try to do some hops, little baby bunny hops. So I want your hands on your, on your tummy and we're gonna make sure feet are on that line and we're gonna do hop freeze, hop freeze, hop freeze, all the way down. Okay, if you wanna try it with your hula hoop, you could even put your hula hoop around you, hold on really tight and try your hop and freeze with your hula hoop around you. Okay, I'm gonna take that off. And since we're on the floor and we're not up really high and we did our forward roll lesson already, you can try your forward roll on the balance beam. So make sure both feet are touching the line. Put your hands on the line. Remember your nose wants to touch your knees. You're gonna roll and freeze, okay? Okay, now I'm gonna show you a couple of ideas that we sometimes have stations when we're on balance beam. So I'm gonna show you an idea that you can do at home using your line and using a couch cushion, which we had done before in one of our videos for backward rolls. So we're gonna start here on the line. Make sure both feet are on the line. Make sure your wings are out and we're gonna do one foot behind the other, okay? Try not to look backwards. You wanna make sure you're looking forward and then kind of feel for where you are. There's my mat. I'm gonna sit. I'm gonna get my hands ready. Remember those peanut butter on your hands? We're gonna lie down, make our hands touch, and then make our toes go over our nose and finish tall. Okay, here's another station. This one's a little bit more challenging. So this time you're gonna need a wall, okay? So if you have a line, put it close to a wall, okay? Or something that you can, I have two blocks here. So it doesn't have to be super high. So on this, we're gonna start on the line and we're gonna do some donkey kicks. So we're gonna put those hands right on the line and we're gonna do hop and we're gonna travel. We're gonna move forward all the way down the line. When I get to my wall, I'm gonna turn around Okay, put both my hands on the line and walk one foot up at a time. And if you wanna get tricky, you can try to hold one leg up before you come down. All right guys, thanks so much for joining us uh, with our lesson. And um, we really miss you guys. We look forward to seeing you again really soon and just keep watching out for our videos, okay? So we'll see you next time.